When it comes to coffee, lots of us have our go-to spots. And here in Kansas City, for many of you at home, it's likely the roastery. This morning, we're sitting down with one of the guys that runs the shop. He shows us what makes it a KC staple and what the store has in planned for the future. It's this week's Morning Joe. Step into the roastery's headquarters off Southwest Boulevard and the aroma of the freshly brewed java immediately gives you a jolt. In November is when we hit 25 years. Mike Vallant is the director of cafe operations and has been with the coffee company known for its air roasting techniques for four years now. I imagine it didn't take four years to realize the importance of the roastery here in Kansas City. You no. likely realized it right away. So I've lived in Kansas City for 10 years uh -huh. uh, now and uh, about a year after moving here, I realized how important the roastery was and, and fell in love with the brand. He left his banking jobs and restaurant gigs for a company he says gives him pride day in and day out. I hope our quality shines through. You know, we bust our butts every day. Now that you work in it, what do you think the, the magic ingredient is that makes Kansas City love it so much? I, I, the roastery is about local. So, you know, we always say local wins all ties. We only have about uh, 35 or 36 employees here in this production facility. Um, so, you know, we're not this giant roaster um, that is, you know, trying to take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Who would that be? Yeah, right? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> These bags of beans last them six weeks, making various types of coffee blends that go through rigorous testing. And we taste every coffee that comes out of the roaster through this room. So before, All of it. Every, every coffee. How wired are those guys? I know. They, they cup anywhere from 50 to 80 cups of coffee a day. Jeez. Um, five days a week. So what flavors don't pass the test? We've also tried it with barbecue sauce. Didn't work so well. Um, Even in Kansas City, yeah, got a hit. Okay. Yeah, but we're still we're, we're working on tweaking that a little bit. And soon you may see another creative concoction on store shelves. Uh, I can tell you that it involves peanuts or peanut okay. butter. Their newest venture, Nitro Brew, is created right here in this room. All right, here we are. So this grants me special access. That's right. Once the net is on. And once the net is on, you're good to go. One nitro brew can has the caffeine equivalent of three cups, so only try if you dare. This will get my morning started, right? It definitely will. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, and that stuff was actually really, really good, but uh, be careful because a lot of caffeine in that. If you have a suggestion for Morning Joe, just let me know. All of my contact information is up there on the screen. You can always send me an email, a tweet, or leave me a message on Facebook. A big thanks to the Roastery for uh, letting me spend the morning with them yesterday. It was a ton of fun.